Hey everyone, welcome to Kip TV. I am Kip, and today I've got a match for you on Barn Blitz Pro RC4. You know it, you love it. Let's meet the teams. We have the big, beautiful Bison and Team Never Sober, two steel red teams from UGC North America. On the left, we have the engineer, who I believe his name is Falcon, and he just tags up as everybody else in this. So uh, Falcon, I have been told, is his real name. We have Dial Up as Soldier, Eternal Reach is Medic, Apple Stake is Spy, King George the Sixth is Sniper. Big Papa Greggykins is Heavy, Gotham is Pyro, Lagosaurus Rex is Demoman, and Seo is Scout. Over on Team Never Sober, we have Navigator as Demoman, Orange Drink is Pyro Cream. The real cream is uh, Medic, Etty Baggig is going to be Engineer, Pet is Scout, Perception is Sniper, and Front Toward Enemy is Soldier, Wicket is Spy, and Pete is going to be Heavy. So let's get this match started. Of course, we're going to watch uh, the engine cam here in a second, but first we have to um, make sure that the most important part of Barnbless Pro is still here. It is, don't worry, ladies and gentlemen, you can sleep tonight knowing that Dogbread, i.e. Pugloaf, is uh, alive and well, or alive as well as he can be. But of course, that's the most important change on uh, Barn Blitz Pro from Barn Blitz. Um, other minor changes include lack of snow, huge differences on last, and, you know, small in incredibly important strategic things like that. But let's be honest, dog bread is what we're here for. Anyway, we're, that was all sarcasm, by the way. Anyway, we are here watching Eddie is built up in, uh, in the barn on first. is gonna have good sight line to the first point, A, eh? but, uh, ooh, if a soldier gets right here, no, he can't get it through the fence. Okay, so, um, potentially an okay spot. Of course, um, usually having height advantage makes it harder to spam down. Um, so I think it, it could potentially be dangerous, but we'll see if he gets enough support from his team, especially the combo who's holding right next to him and his his beautiful orange drink, a pyro. Um, and maybe it won't be too bad. So let's get let's get on a sniper cam. King George actually not finding anything right there. So let's get on a more interesting sniper cam. You know who I'm talking about perception. What do you got from us right here? Some uh, fun sight lines and barn blitz. Uh, so we'll see what he can't do. Uh, getting body shot right there on front toward enemy, so taking out, uh, oh, taking out someone disguised as, oh, I'm sorry, this front toward enemy is the red, red soldier, sorry about that. So a good snipe there from the enemy sniper. Big Papa Greggy, big, yeah, Big Papa Greggykins goes down right there to a backstab. I just really want to see a headshot, that's all I'm here for. Um, there we go, finally perception connects, and, uh, down goes a got him. Um, Blue with spawns relatively fast, and then they're so close to their spawn. It's, it's taking down the heavy, taking down the pyro is not going to be a huge deal. Perception right there, getting a sweet headshot on Seo. Of course, as soon as I leave him, he's starting to get these headshots. We'll go back, see what he can't do, as he's just basically guarding the point right now, the cart, that is. Um, but it is nearing a checkpoint, so got to watch out for that. We'll see how they're positioned up here, and it doesn't look too bad. Blue really has yet to make uh, some sort of uh, effective push. The Uber is... Not popped yet. Of course, they're medic staying back, waiting until everything is safe. Uh, this is a bit unusual to see uh, the combo and the sentry gun and everything in barn. It's uh, it's it's a hold that's circa season six or seven, if you will. And uh, if you played in UGC or comp at all, you know that these uh, positions and holds can go in and out of fashion. And right now, the latest trend in fashion is to hold on the cliff um, and have your combo up here. But uh, that happened right there, but we do see a backstab. Apple Steak getting in there, taking down Cream. So no med for Red. Uh, not good that it rhymes. Blue did pop their Uber, so they will have this uh, Uber advantage. Uh, let's see if they can finish off the Sentry Gun. Those stickies finally are popped right there. And Legosaurus Rex connects and takes down Eddie as well. Oh no, he's going with the pain train. Can he get the kill? No. <laughs> Pete takes him out, but did not before he but not after he dies or whatever. Anyway, so a nice um, push from Blue. One they needed probably a couple, at least 30 seconds earlier, 155. It's not a great time for first. Um well, it's okay, I guess. I, I would be happy or something a little bit shorter than that, and I'm sure they would, of course. Um, but let's see what they're doing right here in Attic. They actually already have some presence, and blue or red has nothing up here, so that's going to be hugely significant. So they're able to get there, um, get those classes up there ahead of the, the cart, which is going to be essential. Setting up on Attic makes it extremely difficult to push, and as you can see from Apple Stake's perspective, you just see all this chaos going on. Lagosaurus Rex doing some nice work, destroying any chance Eddie had of uh, of establishing something right there. Um, Applesake revealing himself. Reveal thyself and shoot a medic. But uh, 
he gets navigator as soon as they go off his camera he gets a headshot sorry about that apple steak uh, but anyway we do have a blue pushing forward do get the second point time of two minutes and 51 seconds which is very nice getting around that corner on second and uh, being able to take attic of course huge 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 for them uh they will still still hold on to this uber advantage cream just now coming up did he go down? I don't know about that, but uh, whatever it is, it's a huge advantage for Blue as they have popped, looks like, to save a life or maybe uh, they're just out of position for this pop. Nowhere near going to be able to do the damage that they want to do it. Ligosaurus Rex goes down as he tries to turn the corner. Not going to happen right there. Um, and Red still having their heavy and combo up. Let's see. Are they on? I feel like I saw crits. I did see crits. Crits I saw. So that's going to be interesting. We'll stick on Navigator's camera. And this, of course, one of the new features of, uh, wait a second, this is new. All right, so this is new from RC4. Uh, you have a ramp here instead of it going down. It's, oh, but we have we have the crits. Let's focus on that. Let's see if he can get the crits off. He does. Oh, my goodness. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Taking out at least half a bison team right now. He can't finish off uh, posing Demo Man, and Seo takes him out right there. But doesn't matter. Got the medic, got the heavy, got a lot of things. So a nice crits push uh, from Navigator and team. Uh, big deal. Cream was able to get out alive. Just seen the last bit of a nice pill from Legosaurus Rex. He can't do much right here, so he just needs to really stay alive. Puts out some spam and prevent Red from coming in or pushing them back any further. He's going to set up some nice sticky trap. A uh, little visible right there, but uh, it's still a nice idea. Uh, it's going to be joined by the rest of his team, so let's go back. Oh, oh, just in time to see the backstab and the pick, and Eddie's stuff is going down. I Apple uh, steak doing a nice job right there. What is an apple steak, by the way? Just throwing that out there. All right, so this, let's go back to this, which is what I started talking about 10 minutes ago. Uh, so this is new for RC4. Usually, um, it'll go down on the, that uh, door will open. Uh, there's an arch that goes down there, and uh, it is on the ground floor instead of having that ramp. So this allows more space, but oh, a nice pig right there from Dial-Up. Actually, get in 2K. Can you finish off the heavy can't? Pete is spun up and ready to go, but doesn't matter. Got the medic. So let's see if I can actually put this into words. There's a ramp here where usually it would just go straight. So, interesting decision right there. Um, I'm guessing it was implemented to uh, to give the uh, offensive team a greater advantage. Last is so, so, so difficult to push. Um, looks like Bison not having too hard of a time right here. Just mowing through. We'll see if they can finish off this poor medic. Um, actually, Cream does survive, but doesn't matter. The cart is pushed in and explodes and everybody dies except the two snipers and a spy. So there we go. Time of 5 minutes and 35 seconds is not too shabby. Not too shabby at all for the big, beautiful bison. Alright, so... Oh! This is also new. You have a nice little door right here. So some significant changes. Uh, my voice squeaked right there. So, but yeah, some big changes mostly to, um, I guess, to give the defensive team an advantage. I like this. Okay, so maybe... All right. All right. All right. I like it. I like it. I could work with it. Um, that could be the reason having an opening back there could be the reason that uh, nobody is holding on Cliff anymore. So maybe I'm the one who's out of date and out of fashion, which is usually true. I, I tend to be very unfashionable in many aspects of life. So I apologize to you guys. You're apparently uh, one step ahead of me in the, uh, the fashion world. We're just keep using that metaphor. But anyway. We will see if the Team Never Sober can come through with a time of less than 5 minutes and 35 seconds. going to be difficult because that second round cap for the Bison team was so fabulously fast. Uh, we'll see what they can't put up against them. I still want to know what an apple steak is. Uh, Blue Scout getting behind the lines right here, putting some damage down on Eternal Reach, but Pet goes down with some nice... Uh, Defensive flames right there, and we do see the combo holding on Cliff. Okay, so the combo is holding there, but uh, their gun is inside. So, interesting. Oh, Eternal Reach takes so much damage right there. Surfs away, gets that uh, med pack, and will survive. But uh, Blue already popping their Uber right here. We'll see if they can't do anything. They spotted out that sentry gun. They're going to be able to put some damage on. It is being wrangled, but not, not enough. Uh, Eureka Effect going into effect, so nice work right there for... Uh, Falcon to get out of there alive and as Blue does push and get a nice time. Oh, oh, dial up coming in from behind to stop the t 
time on the cart. We'll see if he's going for the medic pick. Can he get this? Oh, this door enables him to escape. And then he comes back and finishes off dial up. Or finishes off uh, Cream right there. So dial up with a great play. Uh, taking down the enemy medic. Wow, wow, wow. So you see how that door can come into huge effect. He was able to take a little bit of, uh, of cover. Come back with one last rocket. Finish off the medic. He, of course, went down. But hey... I don't know how many times I'm going to say it today, but it uh, doesn't matter. Got the med. So nice work right there from the uh, defensive soldier. Uh, we'll see now as uh, TNS is still rolling through. Not too shabby of a push right here, uh, especially considering Navigator just took down the sentry gun uh, Falco put up. But here comes the Uber. Red has been holding on to that for a while. They didn't pop when Red or when Blue initially popped, so they've been just holding on to that. Uh, Greg is going insane trying to get the scout, and finally he gets finished off right there. But in comes uh, some reserves uh, from Red, and it looks like they're going to be able to push forward a little bit and hold this corner for just a little longer. Uh, we'll see if Falcon decides to build again. In Attic, it's going to be very, very difficult considering there's a lot of spam coming down. We'll keep an eye on Lagosaurus Rex. Maybe he can take out his enemy Demo Man. Oh, here comes the combo. It's not going to be fun. Oh, man, he's got them pinched off right now. But, oh, explosive sticky is a little too early. So the combo will escape. And I'm guessing it will be able to take Attic right there. Uh, actually, yeah. No, not going for Attic, as uh, I believe Lagosaurus Rex is still alive, so they could be in a potentially dangerous position. Yeah, look, he's coming in from behind, gets a few stickies, oh, forces the Uber pop! They forgot he was there, they pop, uh, not, well, it's not a too bad of a pop, there's, uh, really nothing to get. We'll see if they can get some players and frags, and oh, man, Eternal Reach goes down right there, so Pete finished him off, so, uh, maybe better communication that that Uber was popped and, uh, they just needed to get out of there, that, uh, that Eternal Reach had no chance of surviving. I don't know, but uh, what could have been a good play right there from the Demo Man turns out to uh, lose their medic. Oh, oh well. Uh, we're going to keep on the wiki cam because we haven't seen anything he's done, but it may be too late uh, because everybody is going down right now for red. Uh, they just now getting these respawns, and it uh, looks like they're running the crits, so we'll see if they can get that up, but a lot of these heavy classes going down. Medic trying to survive. It doesn't look like Eternal. Nope, Breach is going to do it. Navigator getting some stickies in there. He does go down to the caber on the cart. Lagosaurus Rex pulling out that caber. Only a couple people alive for Red right here uh, in position, just now getting some respawns. Uh, so these respawn waves have really helped. Helped Bison um, stay in this game. We'll see for how long, though, as uh, Blue, though, they lost their medic, so... Uh, so Ubers would be, be about even right here. We'll see, though, if they decide to um, go for an instant push, try to get everything while the sentry is still small and the dispenser still building, or if they're going to try to build something up. Keep an eye on Wicker, who is uh, just no doubt calling out the position of everything to his team. Perception going down right there, so no sniper for blue. The spawn times are too, or for red. No, for blue, sorry about that. For blue, so uh, red medic can rest a little bit easier. They are running that crit, so they're going to have this crit's advantage. Uh, whereas cream, relatively hurt right now, did get some some heals. Let's um, get on the red demo man cam, because that's where the action is on crits on defense. We'll see if they can replicate the success that, uh, that Navigator had against them. <laughs> So here we go with the crits from Bison. One sticky, two sticky. No, yes, they do get it. Oh my goodness, Cream going down, Origin going down. Uh, Navigator finished off. Can they finish off this heavy is the question. Yes, finally, Pete gets taken out. Oh, but in that chaos, Eternal Reach went down to a backstab. So Lagosaurus Rex did successfully take out half the team, or most of the team right there, but lost his medic, but I still say victory right there. So um, yeah. TNS getting a little taste of their own medicine with that Crits Delmo man uh, coming out of last. Wait, did I just see the red soldier up here? Yeah, dial up doing some crazy Roman work, but goes down in midair to that um, to that scatter gun. Uh, however, he was a good distraction for Applesteak. Maybe if Applesteak wants to do anything, he could potentially get a medic right here. There's only 10 seconds left, though, so not looking good for Team Never Sober. Looking good for Applesteak as he's turned around and confronted with is not gonna happen right there uh the combo jumps in but that is the end of this round and it will go to a big beautiful bison and we'll be right back with the second round
All right, thank you so much, Hypnotoad, and now we are back with uh, the second half. Um, here's just a public service announcement, guys. If you want um, your match to be cast, or if you think you ever want it to be, don't tag up as inappropriate things in the middle of your match. Um, it looks bad for you, it looks bad for your team, it looks bad for TF2 in general. That's just uh, my personal little uh, pet peeve, so... Um, so I'd appreciate it if you guys kept it clean and uh, non-offensive. Having said that, let's start this second round. We'll see if uh, if the Bison team will do anything differently this time. Uh, looks like they're doing things quite the same. Eddie is still running that Eureka effect. And you saw how it did, in theory, helped him get out of there alive. But he was not able to get back to Attic in, order, in time enough to build up a level 3 or anything. So, maybe he stuck around there for just a little too long. Um, he was taking damage as he took that, used the Eureka Effect. Eureka Effect, you have to do it like as soon as that combo comes in. When it, it's, it's tricky to do, and it's, I'm not, I, I'm still not sure if it, it has a place in competitive. Um, especially now that this door is here, uh, you could easily pick up your gun and run. So, uh, I don't know. I think uh, RC4 version is uh, offering a lot in terms of new strategy and ways of thinking about uh, how to play defense at least so uh super excited about that love love those changes to the game i don't know who apple is but that's not very nice apple stick <laughs> all right so we do have blue uh, medic out here already holding on to that uber he's gonna have to pop soon and does finally pop taking down greg oh as his medic dropped him looks like eternal reach is just gonna get out of there and in comes this blue combo can they get the sentry gun this would be the time where an engineer would pick up that gun and run but instead he goes down so falcon down his gun is not long for this world although it does get two k's uh we'll see if his team can uh, keep that sentry gun up but it uh, doesn't look good for Bison right now. Uh, though the cart is rolling back and they're getting these respawns. Yeah, Sentry Gun did go down right now. Greg, not sure what you're doing there, guy, but he's going to so get headshot and he doesn't have his medic or overheals. Uh, we'll get back in time to get a sandwich. Uh, but his med is still, or just now coming up and uh, not yet healing. So this would be a great time for TNS to push if they didn't just lose four players. Combo's gonna push themselves though. Pete trying to uh, make this happen or forcing it to happen. Uh, getting air blasted a little bit as he is on fire and the card did get capped right there by Pet who just uh, tapped it in. Is that a spy I see? I, I don't even know anymore. <laughs> but uh, 1 minute 32 seconds, not too shabby. Uh, for blue team on that first point. We'll see. Gotta get up to Attic and see what's going on there. Alright, we do have a dispenser, and of course that is pretty darn important, and it looks like Falcon is ready with the level 3. So the fact that he did go down there before his sentry gun, um, not a factor in uh, this round, at least. We'll see if his team can hold uh, Attic as blue. Oh, Cream goes down! Applestick with a backstab. He uh, was close to an Uber there, I think, because he had an Uber advantage. So, no Uber for blue. Uh, so, a nice pick right there from Red Spy. We'll see if Red decides to take advantage of this and uh, pop their Uber in order to save the cart, especially around this area. I'm trying to find the heavy. Oh, but Greg is down. Okay, so Eternal Reach may have to pop on somebody a little less heavy. But uh, popping on the pyro wouldn't be a bad idea to re-blast, re <laughs> reflect everybody away. Cream is still down, so they could potentially wait another five seconds before they pop it. Um, but if they want to keep those ubers even, looks like they're just going to hold on to it, though, which isn't a bad idea. They have a good setup going here on Attic. Well, let's take a look. Where is, uh... Well, they still... Greg went down right there in 15 seconds. That's a really long spawn time right here for the defensive team, so they've got to make sure they're not overextending and uh, trying to do something where something shouldn't happen. We do have Blue creep it up, though. They're trying to avoid the sentry gun and go from down under, and right now it doesn't look like there's anybody stopping them. Uh... Pete lost his medic, but he's going to try to do this all by himself. Uh, he did send his soldier in there before. We'll see if he can take out the NG. He does. Oh, forces the Uber pop right there. Pete going crazy. Uh, he is going to die, but uh, did some nice work right there. Will probably enable the rest of his team to push in as a good thing his medic didn't follow. Cream decided to stay back, which was a good idea. Uh, but everything is down up here, so Blue should really be sending um, some of these l classes they can afford to lose. But uh, where are they? They are coming up. Oh, Dial-Up is having a nice little party up there by himself, but uh, 
he does go down navigator and he trade kills let's say on the pet cam because he just wants to be able to tap this cart right now oh, oh did not those know those stickies were there i did but i couldn't tell you that i'm sorry uh did he touch the cart? I think he did touch the cart. So here comes this Uber. Popped a little prematurely right there. Probably to save a life or panic or something. But definitely not needed. Uh, as a door goes boom. As cart gets capped. That is, uh, yeah. Words. There we go. <laughs> Uh, so a time performance in 20 seconds right there for TNS as they're trying to set a nifty little time right here. Remember, it's about 5 minutes and 30 seconds, I think, for uh, Bison on the first round. Uh, so we know Bison can pull out a tidy little time. Can TNS is the question. They still have the toughest part to come, uh, which is not only this hill, but also last. So Seo is uh, doing a little sniping right there. I think he... Uh, was born with a different gun in his hand. Legosaurus Rex. I think this is a uh, Uber. It is an Uber. We'll see if they can get the medic. Cream is out of there with 90%. He wants no part of this. Uh, Legosaurus having a trouble connecting with anybody right here. Even the scout. Oh, out comes the caber. And you know that's desperation. Uh, but they're still really far up right here. Oh, does get wicked as he's trying to run away. Um, but goes down to needles. No, he went down to Pete. <laughs> That's a little less embarrassing. Oh, but that's no good. Cream in his uh, desperation to get the kill or something right there. He was overextended and uh, goes down that sniper shot. So King George the Sixth having some nice uh, shots right here. We'll see. We'll stay on his camera for a bit because we know nothing's going to come out of blue here for a while as they just lost their medic and uh, not in any player advantage or any other position to push here. Once again, that cart is right on the hill which it rolls back and it's just so long and so frustrating oh we oh king george didn't even get the teleporter kill that's tough that is tough luck <laughs> uh, but let's check out the building here on third uh pretty standard Red is pushing up quite a bit. It looks like Cream just went down to King George. Of course, as soon as they get off his camera, he gets a headshot on the Medic. Uh, but anyway, so the Medic does go down for Blue. Red has their 100%, and I want to get on a heavy cam to see maybe if they decide to push with this. Uh, again, they have, both teams have been playing pretty smartly, I guess would be the word. Intelligently would be a better word than smartly. Uh, did the sentry gun go down anyway so it doesn't look like they will be using the aggressive ubers uh, on defense third is a is an okay place to hold it's not as easy as last to hold but uh they would be well served to just continue holding on to this uber and wait for blues push in the ball is in blues court because they have to set the time and so blue really need to get their ducks in order as red could just sit here all day well not all day because they only have about seven minutes Seven minutes to cap this next point. Otherwise, stale or not stale, but they lose or they only get oh, they only get two points, and then the ball would be in Bison's court. So again, Red still holding out to that Uber, whereas uh, Blue working it up. Uh, I'm surprised they're not building right here. Silver ways to build in Highlander, Scout with the Boston Basher, uh, Dumb a Man with Stickies and Self Damage, but it looks like we finally do have this 100% Uber, and the push I would sense is incoming. I was gonna make a bad. Never mind. Never mind. So uh, let's check out the Navigator Cam as he does get this Uber Perception taken down Lagosaurus Rex immediately with a nice uh, headshot. We'll see if they can get the Sentry Gun. Some sweet reflex going on, but doesn't look like he'll be able to stop that Sentry Gun. Oh my goodness, but uh, Pyro is just going crazy trying to get this demo man. Uh, Red Pyro will survive. I don't remember his real name because uh, now he's a. Uh a bad word, but oh, on the cart, we'll see. Ah! Apple steak not able to do everything, and Blue uh, will continue to push up. Finally past that, uh, that annoying, annoying hill, and they will get third point right there on a nice little roll right here. We'll see if Lagosaurus Rex can put down some stickies or something to stop them, uh, because right now, Eddie, or I'm sorry, Falcon is down, and Bison is just kind of scrambling right here to try to stop this cart, which can't stop, but Lagosaurus gets a nice pick on Pete. So Pete is down, no heavy on the cart. That's at least some good news. Cream did survive. That's not great news, but uh, uh, he is down. Nope, never mind. He just got more health right here. As Greg takes a lot of... Uh-oh. 
that's no good. We uh, have a medic who's AFK for a second right there, and every second counts in Highlander, especially when you're trying to keep Ubers even. And uh, looks like Cream is going to have this Uber advantage, so that's no good. Uh, we'll see if Eternal Reach can get his up there, uh, but we do have this Uber ready to go. We'll stick in on what you want. Navigator cam because they know there's a sentry gun up there. Navigator does take down King George, so no threat of that sniper. Uber is popped. Where is that sentry gun? It is just a level one right there, and it goes down immediately. Red Uber, though, comes up in time, and that pop goes off. Uh, we'll see if Navigator can find his way around. He's doing a good job dodging right now, and that Uber uh, falls back. Greg still up there though takes a lot of damage and goes down because his medic had abandoned him navigator still alive though that's remarkable considering their uber left um faded quite earlier than uh, reds so he's uh, doing a great job staying alive dodging and putting down some stickies he is now confronted with his opposing demo man uh still alive though and there's his health back right here can he get it he does so navigator still going strong uh but however so is the red team of bison getting these waves but it's not gonna happen as the cart gets pushed in but i don't even know who all i saw was a big heavy falling into the pit and then he disappeared so we do have a time of 10 minutes and 4 seconds, which is a little, it's again on the little long side. It's double the time that Bison had on the first point, so uh, we will see. We will see if TNS can hold off Bison for more than 10 minutes. Um, if they do, they will force it to a third round. Remember, Bison is in the lead. I mean, we have a big, beautiful Bison. As opposed to a big, ugly Bison, or a small, beautiful Bison, or... Um, a small or big beautiful buffalo, which by the way, don't live in America. They are American bison that live in America. Buffalo live in Africa. They are water buffalo. Today you learned. Uh, somebody in chat is probably going to tell me I'm wrong, but whatever. That's what I learned. <laughs> There's nothing else to talk about during setup. If you want, we can talk more about the dog bread. We can talk about his tail and how adorable it is. And how hard it is to get a good look at his face. There we go. All right. <laughs> See what we got. Going back to the game. Uh, as we have the same setups, it looks like, from both T... Um, I'm sorry, from TNS. Indeed, we do have a jumpy double man in here that Caver is out. He's already gotten two kills with it. We'll see if... <laughs> where did he even go? Lagosaurus gets finished off right there. What? That's pretty sweet hiding space right there for Wicket. We'll see if he can't catch any... F um, Catch any big fish, I think is the metaphor I've been using. Uh, hard to see though, so we'll see. I mean, I want to watch him, but it's a very boring angle right now. Uh, he actually does, or one iteration of him is dead. He's going to be able to creep in right behind this cart. Uh, can't get the sniper because of that Razorback. It's lit on fire, and oh man, so not good right there. The Uber is popped, The Interesting decision right there. I'm not sure why they decided to pop. Probably to out of desperation to save something. Spy was in on him. Oh, and Soldier as well. So a dial-up, uh, maybe forcing the pressure right there and doing a good job. Uh, how However, that's going to buy a huge uber advantage for blue team. They need to take advantage of that advantage as Eddie is trying to build up here again. I don't think this is a good idea. Uh, he doesn't have it already at a level two. All right, he had the dispenser there, which is hugely important. Orange drink coming in here and some nice air blasting uh, is not enough, though. And Ligosaurus Rex gets the pills in on, oh, I'm sorry, the stickies in on the sentry gun and takes it out. So orange drink, good try, but... Uh, no cigar, as they say. However, uh, Eternal Reach did go down. There's so much happening right now. I just need to, I don't know whose camera to get on right now. Uh, as we continually have scout battles over here, <laughs> Saya is going to get out of there because the heavy got involved. He doesn't want any of that action. That's not fair anymore. He's taking his basketball and going home because uh, you made it unfun, Heavy. Uh, but Ligosaurus Rex will see if he can, what he can't do with just sending some spam down here. He knows there's that sentry gun again. Oh, and he, Ligosaurus Rex, just like his name says, lags a little bit in midair right there. Not sure he could have done anything, even if he had a one ping. But uh, at least they know where that sentry gun is. Oh, it actually did go down right there, so uh, that spam helped. We'll see, though. This is uh, wasting a lot of time here on first. Uh, already at least two minutes. And uh, Bison really can't afford to lose too much time. If they do, they have to count on uh, another really fast push of second and a fast capture of Attic. Uh, we'll see if they can't get that done. But 
in the meantime, uh, no okay hold right here. The Uber is popped again for uh, Blue. Perception is just waiting and watching and gets uh, got him right there. He's got a good angle for anybody who comes to touch the cart. We'll keep on his camera. Oh, out comes Legosaurus Rex. Uh, Caper, he's not able to get anyone. Perception finishes off Eternal Reach with a body shot. So there we go. Finally got a nice medic pick from Perception. Uh, oh, and then uh, King George takes down Perception. So both these snipers having a fun time. Oh, Uber has popped for red. Good job by Green right there. Just see the heavy and be like, well, I'm out. Wicked does finish off the heavy. Uh, so the, this red Uber's not going to do anything right there. But oh my goodness, Bison needs to do something. Oh, that's something. King George getting a med pick of his own. So I'll we'll have to get on his cam. But uh, there's only 1 minute 36 seconds left. Oh, there we go. Finally, Bison just creeping in there. Orange, you know who was able to get it. That was King George uh, and, the, and the engineer, Falcon, able to get that cap. So that would buy them about 5 minutes and 50 seconds to get the second point. And 6 minutes and 20 seconds to get all points. Uh, looking like it may be a little more difficult than the first round. Uh, as Red... Let's see, what do they got going up here in Attic? Uh, they got a spy going up here in Attic, but they know the Apple Steak is around. The Sentry Gun wasn't level 3. It does go down. Uh, as Blue is just pushing fast and furious over Greg goes down. Uh, his medic wasn't on him because Eternal Reach is so close to the Uber right now. I don't know why Greg was pushing so far if uh, his med had so uh, such a good percentage on Uber right there. It's going to delay their push and uh, they really could have used a fast push right there because that Centrigun was only at a level 1. Now it's level 2. It's going to be level 3 soon and uh, Red is going to be in position to withstand any push here from Blue or at least that's what they hope. Wicked coming in, trying to make something happen right there. Dead rings out of that situation. As, again, Greg is by himself. What is he doing right there? There's a sentry gun. I, surely he knew that, or surely he suspected that. Um, but look, now this Uber is being wasted, and Eternal Reach is maybe going to have to pop it to save his life. Oh, no, Pet does go down. Good defense from Seo to get, help his medic out. Uh, but Eternal Reach has this 100% Uber. Cream is going to have an Uber soon with only 90%, uh, with already 90% on that charge. And this uh, advantage for TNS, or I'm sorry, for Bison has just faded away. And now they are going to um, be in a position where they're pushing in to a team that is very well set up for them. Uh, we do have the Uber coming up here. And look at that. Pyro is Ubered right at the stairs. Doing a great job air blasting. Uh, we'll see if they can withstand this push. Need that demo man to send some spam down there. But it looks like uh, Navigator is nowhere near. But doesn't matter. Uh, Pete and company have got this. They did lose uh, quite a bit of players right there, but uh, a couple of them light classes, and it's not enough for Blue to take advantage of and push off of. So nice work. Nice work by Orange Drink. Nice work by Pete, and a nice Uber, of course, from uh, their medic. Dot, dot, dot. Cream. That's right. With a K. It's not how you spell cream. I, I realize it's an acronym. <laughs> so we'll see uh, what... Bison decides to do how they approach this differently. Going up the stairs, did it work right there? Um, is it possible that they could do a, a push in like a TNS did last time, which is go around here and then slip through? Is this uh, being watched is the question right there. And it looks like it uh, could possibly be a chance for somebody to come up behind here and just uh, do a little stabby stabby or a shooty shooty or... Um, or what, uh, what have you. They do have this Uber ready to go, so let's check in on... I want to get the Demo Man cam. Sorry, guys. Lagosaurus Rex cam. Oh, no, is he lagging? He's... I'm sorry, not the Lagosaurus Rex. I want... Yes, yes, I want Lagosaurus Rex. Oh, my goodness, no, he's lagging. That's the worst. That is absolutely the worst. Uh, where you see this Uber pop from Blue with their pyro coming up the stairs. Some nice flashing going on, but that air blast from Orange Drink doing such a good job. Uh, can Blue? Nope. Down goes. Got him. Uh, we'll see if the Blue combo can stay alive. The heavy is on fire. Not in the good way. And Greg goes down. Eternal Reach is, was alive, no longer is alive. And Legosaurus Rex having... Major lag issues, apparently. Uh, Sale looks like he's not doing too much better. And Apple Steak, too, is over 100 with this ping. So, uh, don't know what's going on. But uh, they need to get it in gear because they only have 2 minutes and 12 seconds left to capture this third point. And only 2 minutes and 40 seconds left to capture the entire thing. Which is very, very hard to do. Uh, not impossible, though. Of course, nothing is impossible in TF2 if you believe hard enough. And uh, I don't know about you, but I believe in magic. 
Uh, yeah. So, if you believe in magic, perhaps it is possible to uh, capture this whole thing in less than three minutes. Uh, Dial-Up doing certainly some good work here, just throwing on some spam and keeping the attic on their toes, but... Greg overextending again, going down to a headshot. He needs to stop going out there and exposing his big, fat, chubby Russian body to bullets that uh, seem to be very attracted to him. I don't know why. They just must like the... I guess he's a cuddler? He, he looks like a cuddler. I don't know. Anyway, but Red, again, has got this uber. They're going to be prepared for Baloo's push, even though Bison had this 100% uh, for a while. A little bit of an advantage, not huge, but uh, they're just not taking op this opportunity when they need to. Kind of want to see what Wicket will do right here. Not able to stop the uber as uber does come in, popped again on the heavy. They're not going to go for stairs this time. The sentry gun does go down. Uh, now we do have a little... Uh, God, I'm trying to get in there, but Lagosaurus Rex does get Eddie in a few, but so uh, so does Navigator. Just a ton of frags going down right here. Uh, Lagosaurus Rex going down as well. He could try to do something, but Dial-Up was there. He went down as well. Front toward enemy and company are... Looks like it will be able to hold this attic if they could just finish off that scout. And finally, Sayo does go down. Uh, Cream stayed alive within that exchange. Who knows how? Uh, so uh, Ubers will be... Uh, actually, Cream is going to have a little bit of advantage right here. Um, but you know what? Less than 30 seconds left to capture this point and less than a minute to capture the entire thing. I really don't think it's possible. But uh, I have seen crazier if you saw the Street Hoops versus Menace to Society match. You saw that... Uh, uh, Menace to Society made it uh, from here to last in oh, under a minute. They were not able to do it, but they got pretty damn close, so it's all possible. TNS is all down right now. What Blue needs to do is push up and start spawn camping. That's a completely legitimate tactic. Uh, they have a little bit of presence here on last, but it may not be enough as dial-up is super, super hurt. Red is getting these respawns right now. Uh, not even at third right yet. Oh, you... Don't need times four in the card, just times three will do it. Heavy really needs to be pushing up right here. He uh, needs to stick with his medic and get that huge advantage of uh, health up there. They have this uber. Oh my goodness, it actually could happen right now for Bison. Of course, everything is pulling out for TNS. They cannot afford to lose this point. And no, it's not going to be enough time. Uber is going to pop for just for fun, just for funsies. And that will go to TNS. So that means we will go to a third round. These are your scores. Uh, Greg, despite all the times he went down, has a huge advantage over his uh, opposing heavy right there. Uh, so we'll be right back with uh, the third round. And we're back with the third round, uh, and third and final round, unless they somehow tie, which is very, very rare in Halo to get the exact same time, but I guess it's possible. I mean, again, what if, if you believe in magic, everything's possible. Uh, so, TNS is going to have the opportunity to defend first, whereas Bison will attack first. I, um... I think that uh, Eddie really likes this location because he's one of those engineers that likes to have something against his back and uh, likes to be in a, a protected by walls and things. I saw him like, or was that, or was that Falcon? Well, engineers in general like to have something towards their back uh, because of spies. So this uh, little closet area provides that opportunity. And if you uh, either get your dispenser or your body right here to block this uh, location, you're pretty much not going to get backstabbed. Uh, so. I agree with that uh, closet area. I've done it a lot myself, uh, but I think it's the third round. They Bison knows that it's going to be there. Um, I say mix it up a little and uh, I don't know, try something new or old. <laughs> Go to the cliff, apparently the old way to do things. But anyway, we don't have any frags going down yet as we just have uh, some uh, slight engagements. Looks like we did have uh, name changes. Lagosaurus Rex is now the scout. Well, it's the same player, but he's just now Lagosaurus Rex. And Sayo is going to be our demo man. We'll catch in on his cam as he's just sending some spam, trying to forget what's there, and uh, trying not to let that uh, heavy come out of the door. And uh, actually Greg, I'm sorry, and actually uh, I'm sorry, Pete goes down. I knew it was a man's name. It's either Greg or Pete, so <laughs> it was Greg right there. So uh, let's check in on Lagosaurus Rex as is he actually lagging right here? Can he even... 
No, oh, definitely looks like Demo Man has still got that that ping issue. So uh, a way to stick through it. We haven't had any pauses, so I for one thank you for that. Um, still no real engagements. Everybody's just kind of poking each other. We do finally have this uh, bombing in, but Navigator places some well-placed stickies and down goes dial up. Uh, looks like Greg is gonna get in here. He, nope, he is falling back eating a sandwich. What is going on? Where is this red? Where is this blue team push? They're just wasting time poking. Uh, they need to bring their medic out and engage. Oh, not a huge pick right there, but it is a pick nonetheless. And down goes their engineer Falcon. No mini sentry to help out. Uh, Pet did go down too, and navigator's down too. So there's a significant uh, advantage. But uh, Lagosaurus Rex just went down, and Greg just went down for Bison as well. So probably not going to make a push out of here. What is Dial Up doing? He's dying, that's what he's doing. But not a bad idea, he did take out <laughs> front toward enemy who is just spawning. That's the last thing you want to see when you spawn as a soldier in your face. We'll check in on Falcon, see how his DM skills are, but uh, not able to finish off the demo man there. Navigator actually had quite a bit of health. Finally, we have this exchange. Oh, but Eternal Reach not able to get out of there in time. Uh, Spy doing a great job. Apple Steak just harassing them right now. And then Seo coming in from behind. Oh, dial up. Oh, that's the worst noise. It's the worst noise. But it looks like Pete is going to be able to stay alive. Uh, they are going to fall back, though. They could have really held there, but uh, that no ammo, obviously going to be a big deal. Front toward enemy is actually here, too. So maybe Red could come back and hold uh, Barn here on first. But, uh, yeah, it looks like they are now going to come back. At least the Demo Man and Soldier are going to have to watch out for uh, Apple Steak, who uh, is poking with the knife, and uh, down goes Apple Steak front towards the enemy. Uh, going to retreat and pretty much leave garage. Uh, I keep wanting to say garage, but it's a barn. barn open there for Blue Team. Perception really wants this. He wants this medic pick so badly. He's in a nice little wood pile right here. Nobody knows he's here. Oh, he keeps barely missing him. Sayo figures out he's there and he goes down before he can't get that sweet, sweet headshot. The sweet, juicy headshot. I can only imagine headshots are juicy considering substance of uh, brains. Again, Greg pushing up right there and going down to some stickies from Navigator. I, I really don't like the how he's playing the roaming heavy role, but not in the way that's... Uh, putting himself in a good position. He's just kind of creeping around corners and that puts himself very vulnerable to, to demo man span as we've seen um, and uh, Headshots meanwhile though Sayo just got a ton of stickies and taking down everything. He's in a apparently a very good position uh, Nice work coming out of dial-up as well uh, Although he is yes yeah, still alive. Oh, but he goes down right there to a reflected rocket orange drink has been doing such a great work with that m2 and uh takes out that opposing figure uh he's still alive orange drink is still alive oh turn around turn around orange drink does go down to some sticky so sayo finishing him off right there as blue pushing forward having uh taken down most or taken down attic they are getting aggressive right here is there anything set up on third is the question sayo looking around but doesn't look like uh they are able to get anything up right here so eddie not sure what was going on, but he did go down and was not in a position to be able to build up again on third. And look how fast that cart went up the hill when you have a times whatever that was, a times five, I think, on it. So able to capture this part much easier uh, than they had previous rounds. And uh, we'll see if they can continue this roll. Looks like King George just sniped down the sentry gun that Eddie had put up. Eddie is down now, so no sentry gun is going to be significant. Is there any defense here? Uh, just a few players, only four up right now for TNS. And Bison actually has an Uber, so they'll be ready to pop this. Probably right now is because Pete... Oh, Pete has this Uber too! Can he force the pop from Blue? Oh man, Eternal Reach is doing a great job of falling back. And some really nice reflect work coming from Gotham. We'll see, did that uber push uh, give enough room for for Eddie to build? He definitely has the space, but does he have the time? Needs help right now, of course, only one NG on Highlander is sad. Not gonna be able to do it, but uh, where's Blue with this counter push? They're waiting for their heavy, it looks like. Uh, they should be able to do this relatively easily, I would think. Uh, yep, sentry gun goes down, dispenser going down as well. The Uber is being flashed to the spy. Okay, why not? Everybody gets an Uber. You get an Uber. You get an Uber. And Red Medic coming out here trying to get an Uber of his own gets an Uber saw. Two Uber saws. Oh, cream goes down. <laughs> 
<laughs> so close right there. He did have 75%. Uh, probably wouldn't be able to do it by himself anyway. Only two up right now. JK one up. No, JK can comes the response, but uh, some nice stickies from Sayo. Again, spawn camping totes legit here. And that will be the end of the round. Six minutes and three seconds. And I'm sorry for saying totes legit. But that uh, is a... Uh, a nice time right there for Bison. We'll see if TNS can come back. Of course, the entire match depends on it. So, you know, some some drama here. Um, looking at uh, Falcon. He's tagged up as gay big boy. Bird boy. Anyway, but uh, Falcon up there on points right there. So on uh, offense, either getting those cart points or teleporter points or just really enjoys his... Uh, I don't know, maybe he was roaming, uh, probably, well, I would say get on his cam, but it's going to be a definitely a different gameplay now that uh, he is behind level 3. Again, those suicides as well. I'm not completely sure that suicides are necessary on um, Baron Blitz, uh, unless you're building, well, I guess if you're building up here. But there is a, isn't there an ammo pack back here? I guess not. Anyway. Uh, looks like Applestick is going for the same positioning right there. Uh, I wanted to look at scores real quick see if they tell a story or something I've been missing, but uh, you can generally see that Red did very, very well last round, have at least 10 points um, better than their counterpart, it looks like. Uh, so we'll see if that continues or will TNS be able to come back with something. They have to be aggressive here. I don't know why a bunch of them are just standing around. It could be uh, could be lag issues. It could be they weren't ready to play. But uh, there's really no reason the engineer should just be staying back and spawn. He should be spamming those minis like he is just not doing. So Eddie finally getting there. Uh, yeah. Bringing this medic out, though, is uh, an okay idea. <laughs> Especially now that Dial Up is gone. Um, but now some spam coming down here and Cream taking a bit of damage. Oh, Apple State goes down in midair uh, to Pet, who's been doing a nice job defending this medic and also challenging the other medic. Uh, they do pop this uber so significantly faster than Bison did on their way, but Bison already popped their uber so they're going to have nothing to do uh, when Blue comes to town. Oh! Falcon tried to, to uh, Eureka effect out of there, but he got mowed down in midst of it. Uh, so he's going to have a little bit of a harder time coming out uh, and getting Attic. But, uh, oh, does does Pete know that Seiyu is still alive? Uh, we'll see. He could actually... This is, remember, Lagosaurus Rex or Arthur, I think his name is also. No, Anthony. Anthony, that's right. Uh, could potentially hold this, but uh, there goes the cap. And he'll probably have to fall back right now as his uh, spawns change for his team. Yep, indeed falling back. We'll see if Red is able to get anything up right here. And just as Eddie did go down, he's still able to get to level two. Is there a dispenser though? Everybody knows the dispenser is the most important part and looks like it is not there. Uh, so we'll see if that plays a role. Blue, mm, kind of chilling out, hanging out. Uh, don't want to be too aggressive. Don't want to challenge this attic build yet because they don't have any sort of advantage. Uh, we'll see. Uh, we'll see if uh, that comes back to bite them if they allow Red too much time to set up. Uh, we will stick on Apple State Camps because he is in behind this action and gets caught out. This is why I don't play Spy. I don't know how anybody does that five times and maybe one out of five times you'll get a backstab. I feel like, you know, just know. Just no. Uh, dial up putting himself in a good position right here on the opposing attic side. Able to control this space. He's going to go down because he took a ton of damage. Um, but not a bad idea. You'll be able to control drop down this health pack, this metal pack. Uh, and of course this area which can easily be used to spam a sentry gun. Uh, of course that's a moot point now, now that he is dead. But uh, he could come back up. Let's check in on TNS. See if they maybe go for a sneaky little route like they did last couple round ago they will come from underneath uh and stickies are coming up there will they take down the sentry gun they do it looks like a pyro wasn't in place to reflect them but oh as soon as that uh uber fades away a big bomb coming in there from a demo man it takes out the medic right there red uber lasting much longer but it looks like there's a blue demo man on red medic right now um, both are gonna run away as blue uh finally pushes the cart forward they lost a few people in there but red lost a lot more somehow red med still alive eternal reach just needs to get out of there we'll see if he can 
I want to get on this camera. I think he did manage to get out of there as uh, now blue team is a little bit distracted with other red players who have come forward to sacrifice themselves. And this is a horrible place for a sentry gun. As you can see, it's going to be easily spammed down here by the heavy. Maybe if I had a rescue ranger or something, but uh, oh, Eddie is in such a bad place. Oh, I'm sorry, that was Falcon. Uh, he does go down. But the assault, the onslaught by by TNS has seized. Mostly, I was seeing in the kill feed due to uh, I was gonna say dial up, but he died just as I flitched, uh, flashed through his camera right there. But he was doing some nice work um, in the the tower room building uh, to stop Blue from getting any positioning in the yard. And as you can see, Red now being able to take uh, some of that positioning back. We got some stickies, we got spam coming down there, so not a bad idea, not a bad job right here from dial up. And we'll get him on camera, see uh, what kind of positioning he's taking. He's doing that. Oh, this could be interesting. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> no way. Uh, so dial up, um, alternating between that uh, support role and that roamer role. Now he's going to do on the roamer side, see what he can't catch. Finds out his opposing soldier and we're just going to have a soldier battle indoors. And that's not safe. Didn't your mothers ever tell you not to play indoors? with rocket launchers uh, but it looks like there's more than just one guy up there and that's the positioning that TNS wants to take right now. They, however, have wasted way too much time. Only a minute left. The cart is slowly creeping forward. Uh, and it looks like they may be able to cap this. There's only one heavy in the way. But, oh, he does push forward a little bit longer or a little bit farther. Joined by the Dumb Man and, of course, that sentry gun. Uh, but it looks like... Falcon has teleported out of here with that sentry gun. Uh, yeah, so he's going to try to set up here on last as there's only a minute left. He knows that it's this coming down to all of this. This whoever whoever wins this push or defends this push will take the game. So TNS trying their hardest, but this Uber is just not doing anything. Pete trying to get somebody, some brags with it. Uh, but, oh, he goes down to backstab with a big play right there. Apple Steak may have saved his team. Uh... Has blue no longer has no longer has any heavy players out. Here comes front towards enemy. I don't know if he's gonna be able to do it by himself though. He does have a little help from some lighter classes, but there's a spy on the cart. Oh, Apple's taking Eddie to go down and a nice flank from dial up. Oh, but but we still have this spy. We still have this spy and scout alive and a pyre too. Oh, 13, 15 seconds left, but red players are coming in from every angle. Somehow they're getting these flanks on TNS that they just Where did that pyro come from? TNS not going to be able to get on the cart, uh, and that will be the end of the match. So close right there to uh, pushing it the last, you know, 50 yards or whatever that is, but no cigar again. So, well played between these two teams. Congratulations to Big Beautiful Bison, but uh, well played from Team Never Sober. So, um, go continue to get more non-sober, I guess, after this map, which was a close one. So, well done to both teams. Uh, thank you so much to... Apple Steak, who sent it in, um, he said he did nothing. I think he did a lot, especially that last play right there, taking out the heavy on the guard. Anyway, thanks so much for watching, guys. If you have a match you want to see casted, definitely email me at kiptf2 at gmail.com, or you can hit me up at Twitter. I am at kiptf2 on Twitter. Uh, that's about it for now, guys, so thanks so much for watching. Have a good day.